Hi everyone, David Mailer here, and today I'm going to show you the importance of multiple condition VLOOKUPs and how to do them correctly. So if you look right here, we're looking at typical uh, campaign data, and it doesn't matter what the items are here. The thing is you have customer ID, UPC number, store number, transaction number, the date, and uh, then you've got some other fields here like, you know, price, what they sold for, and quantity sold. This is going to be a real business case. So unlike all the other videos you see on YouTube right now, this is actually how you use it in a real business case for marketing, for IT, for, uh, uh, you know, a company to uh, work with their data and do it correctly and quickly for analysis or data science. So let's look at this. Quickly, I show you, here's a date column right here, right? Trans TS is the date. And then what I want to do is I want to show you right next to it, even though you see it as this, Excel sees it obviously as this, okay? So what I want to do is if I just use the customer ID, the problem here is I have people here that probably purchased more than once. So let's go here and take a quick look. If I count this out, I have people, here's their customer numbers, and here's how many times they purchased in that period. So this person had eight trips, right? This person seven and so on. So for these people, if I just use their customer number, I'd have all eight of their, their trips, right? But I don't know which one is which and what date. So I need to know that. So to get that, what I want to do is have more, right? So if I just use a VLOOKUP on this, I would pull back all eight and it doesn't know which one to line up correctly. So that would be correct. So what we want to do, look at this. I want to show you first here, under these, I've got two different concatenating fields, right? Concatenation fields for two conditions and three conditions, right? So let's go and see how I'm going to build this. So let's first look at concatenating formula, this one right here. And what this one's going to do is I'm going to take two um, items. So I'm going to take B2, which is customer ID, and E2, which is the date, right? So if I take the customer ID, which is this, and I take the date, and I use this formula right here, which is concatenate parentheses of B2 comma E2, right? Then I end up with this, which is basically what's next to it right here. If I do that plus transaction number at the end, I end up with this with a three on the end. And I'll show you why you want to have two or three or four. It depends on what you're looking at in your data. Okay, so the simple thing here is when I do this, and I use concatenate of E2, see I'm concatenating this date, it sees this at the end. See that 4377 seven there? So you want to make sure you understand that when you look at it, what you're looking at. You're looking at the Excel date. You don't have to have this column here. I just did this first yellow column here to show you how it looks underneath the uh, the covers with Excel. And then the next one is to show you the actual formula in it that I carry on down. See that? So next... What we want to do is we're going to look at this one. See where it says cat field? I'm going to do this for this. That's basically what this is for two conditions. If I want to do the three conditions, this one involves the 8911, which is the D, which would be D2. So I would just have that comma D2 like this, right? See that? So then if I hit enter with that one, I've got the three. See that? It's, now it matches this one instead of this one. It's this one plus the 8911 at the end. And then to carry it down, if I want to, I just click on that and it carries on down. Now... Uh, I'm just going to take it back and leave it the way it was, which is fine. It doesn't matter. All right, so I just hit enter. And then it gives me back to what it was with the two. So that's how you go between the two and the three here, right? So I've got a concatenated field with two items, customer ID, and the date. And the other one is three items with customer ID, date, and the transaction number. Now, I already showed you I've got people that have bought this more than one time, right? I'm going to show you why this is important. So if I look at this... Okay, I've got basket data over here, and I've got, for this one person, customer 24431, I've got eight purchases, right? Eight purchases, and there's different days, and sometimes, look at this bottom one, they purchase twice in the same day. They can do that. People can do that. So you have to take that into account, and if I use just the two conditions on a VLOOKUP, I end up with this. Here's my VLOOKUPs, okay? So you can see this. Here's the actual VLOOKUP um equation or formula here, which is just the VLOOKUP of this. See, now I'm not using the customer ID anymore. I'm using the concatenated field. That's why I did that in the previous one, right? Okay, so I'm using that or the three, right? So let's go back. Actually, let's get rid of this. Enter here, and we'll just carry this one on up. There you go. So here's it with two, right? I'm using the concatenate field two, and this one over here, if I click over here, uses this guy, which is the same thing but three, 
See, I have this filtered already just to this customer so you can quickly see that this customer purchased multiple times. And I'll show you the difference. So if I just use the VLOOKUP, and the VLOOKUP is going to be, your first field is going to be the field you're looking up. So in this case, the concatenate field three, right? This guy right here, G16791 in this case. And then comma, the field you're going to. So I'm looking it up from the basket data, which is this guy right here, which has, their, which has all eight of these in it, right? And if I go back... We also have, so we're using the basket data, and we use this whole thing here, and you go back here, and false, okay, and that's how you how that works. That's how that uh, equation works. You hit enter here. Now, the problem you have here is not these guys. It's down here. See this? I've got two in the same day, right? So if I use the first one, which is the two conditions VLOOKUP, right, what happens? I get 2034 for this one and 2034 for this one, right? Now, if I use the three conditions, I get 2034 and 1699. Now, which is correct? So if we go back here to the basket data, we can see that the first one is 2034 and the second one is 1699. It's not 2034 twice. So if you use the two, what it does, it gives you the first one again twice, which would be incorrect. Okay, so if we go back here, I'll show you, this is correct, this one here is, this one is not. See, just carrying the same value over again, that would be incorrect, it would be off by four bucks or so. And the problem is, you can see it right here, again, if I do a, a, a pivot table on that, you can see right here on the eighth, the difference. See this? And Oops, let's get off of that and get rid of that. See the difference between that one and this one? If I use two conditions, I'm too high. If I use three conditions, I'm just right, and I've got it. Okay, that's the reason why you'd want to use multiple conditions, okay, with the concatenate field. So what you do is you concatenate several fields together to make one field, and then you pull up a VLOOKUP, because you can't use a VLOOKUP to look up the multiple conditions by itself. You have to use it in conjunction with the concatenate field, which I did earlier and showed you. So now if I take this and I go over this way, right, I can look at here's the three conditions, right, the red is three conditions or orange, and the blue is two conditions. See, here's where the difference is on the eighth, right? Because we're off because it used the 2034 twice for the two conditions, and it did not for this one. So this one's correct. That one's incorrect. So basically what I showed you here real quick in a nutshell is how to do multiple condition VLOOKUPs on uh, actual customer data. So you can see it in a real business case. And again, what we did was we took... Instead of using just customer ID, which would be one field, we could do that with a VLOOKUP, but it'd be wrong, as you saw in this case, because there's multiple people that purchase multiple times, and then some of them even purchase multiple times in a day, as that customer 24431 did. So what we do is we do this, we use the concatenate function, and we pick the columns we need. In this case, I use customer ID and transaction date for the first one, for the two, right? And then just to show you, and then to show you correctly, because we have people that multi purchase multiple times in a day, I used three conditions and I added in the transaction number, which is this column right here, to do the three part, or the three part concatenate. So then what I do is I go out here and I have a VLOOKUP that pulls based on Two conditions and three conditions. Obviously, this one's going to be correct on the three conditions, which is what? The customer ID, the date, and the transaction number. And by doing that, it's correct, and it shows it correctly, versus if I didn't do that and I just used it by the date, it has two, and it defaults to multiplying or doubling up the first one, which is incorrect. So that's why we do that, and basically I showed you all of the formulas I use here, the VLOOKUPs, and the concatenate field. So I hope you found this helpful and useful, and this shows you exactly why you would want to use, well, first of all, it shows you how to do a multiple condition VLOOKUP, which is important to know how to do because you're going to want to use this in analysis, data analysis and uh, uh, data science. But not only that, it also shows you uh, how to do it and where the errors can be if you don't do it correctly. So if I just did a VLOOKUP based on customer number, it'd be way off. So I hope you found this helpful, useful, and informational, and uh, please take a moment to subscribe, like, and share, and have a great day. Thanks.